I did not realize it. Yeah, that means to put it down, not to keep smoking. Is that what that means? Yes. So was that a policy? It's yeah, there's orders. signs everywhere. So it's a policy, not law. It's a policy. So it's a made-up wish. It's not a made-up wish. We really? Enforce it. I'm sure you guys do. I'm sure there's a lot of made-up wishes that you guys like to enforce. You got any idea on you, sir? I do not. You don't? No, why, why should I? Because I'm asking you to identify. Do you have any idea on you? Sure I do. Can I see it? You have ID on you, sir? No, I do not. Am I being detained or under arrest? You're being detained because for what? I'm asking you for your identification. <laughs> I'm being detained because he's asking me for ID. Is that illegal? <laughs> is this legal detainment? <laughs> so you don't have ID on you? Why should I have ID on me? Because I'm asking you to identify you yourself. Well, you need, to, you need to make sure there's a crime committed first. Yes, you're smoking on the horn. Oh, uh, okay, but you gave me a warning and I put it out. No, you hit it again after he told you to put it out because you're not allowed to smoke on the boardwalk. Mm. Sir, is so this do you have, can I take down your name and date of birth, please? Is this illegal? If you don't have your ID on you. Officer, is this detainment Sir? legal or illegal? He's Sir, saying I'm it's illegal you. because I was smoking on the boardwalk. Yes, he there's signs everywhere. He did not break the I'm sure if you go through your camera footage, you're going to walk past <laughs> all the no smoking sections. I'm sure, I didn't know, and that's fine. Yeah, that's right why I put there, it out there. There's bunch down so there we were filming. I'm sure if you go through your camera, you're going to be able to see them. I'm sure there so is. So I need your information. I need your name and date of birth if you don't have what any ID on you. Uh, what's your name first, please? And your badge number? Officer Madrigal, 1381. Thank you. Camillo versus State of New Jersey. He doesn't have to provide ID if he hasn't committed a crime. Camillo so versus State of New Jersey. Now I need your name and date of birth, sir. And why? You giving me a warning or something? I'm going to be issuing you a borough in borough violence. Okay, guys. Borough violation. There you go. For smoking. Okay. So yeah, I didn't know. So I figured a warning would have been fine, and that would have been right. But then you continued smoking it after he asked you to put it out. I just took a hit and put it out. You know. Yeah. But that wasn't what he told you. He told you to put it out. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. Can I put it out? Can I, can I get your supervisor here first, please, and then I'll be happy to do that for you. My supervisor's right there. Actually, you can talk to him. Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. I appreciate that. We the people, Officer Hayes. Yes, sir. This is an illegal detainment right now. Okay, let me just consult. With my and I yeah, I didn't know that we couldn't smoke here, so they told me I couldn't smoke, so I took one more hit and put it out. Right. And now they're going to ask for my ID. Yeah, well, so the thing is, is Point Pleasant Beach, right. we have an ordinance against smoking well, that's fine. on Borough property. I'm not from here. Okay, that's fine. Be that as it may, these officers are going to issue a citation for smoking, and then you'll be on your way. That's oh, a right. citation Carmelo for versus smoking. No, no warning. One no moment, warning. officer. Hey, you don't yes, get a warning if you don't Carmelo, have no, sir. What, one moment. Carmelo versus Stop. State of New Jersey, he doesn't have to provide ID if he hasn't committed a crime. Correct. However, if he refuses to produce his ID, we are legally allowed to, according to State v. Camillo, we would be allowed to place him under arrest for the prop for the um, for the process of identifying him. Wow! And all this for that? No, that's no. 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 The no. whole point is the state versus. Uh, uh, Seems like a whole I, lot I of nonsense, huh? Follow that. Well, I only offer ID when I have to show. It. Not that I don't want to. I'm not denying that I won't show it. I just want to make sure that's a legal request. That's all I'm asking. I understand what you guys are saying. I understand what you guys are saying. I just want to make sure that's a legal request. That's all I'm asking. I understand what you guys are saying. I appreciate it. What's that? You're not allowed to ID him unless you've committed a crime. Which is fine. For ordinance in this municipality states that we're not allowed to smoke or vape on public property. Smoking? He was, as these officers witnessed it. That's our problem. Absolutely. Because he's receiving a citation. Uh, citation. That is it. We do not. Need how about to all, how about just offering a, a written warning? Unfortunately, yeah, the mayor and the uh, and the chief of police, Chief Joseph Michigan, right. does not give us uh, the discretion to issue warnings. Okay. That's interesting. So it's really all about extorting then more than anything else. Well, sir, I gave you a verbal warning, but then you hit it again in well, front of us. Okay, that was just a hat. You know, just a. Well, yeah, but once you say yeah, you have you to stop smoking, just that, that's fine. It's all about smoking. extorting. All you guys yeah, want to do is extort. That's fine. That's fine. A real human would say, listen, we told you not to do it. Don't do it. Have a nice day. And a real human would have listened the first time and put it right out. Okay, so what was it? What was it? Three second difference between you said no and I'm going like this. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. And a real human. A real human would have obeyed the first time. That's fine. It's all about extorting. That's fine. We, we know. And that's why we record so we can bring it to court. That's fine. I still need your ID. I understand. As long as your supervisor says. 
because that's what I need to do, then I will. This is just an okay. pertaining to that. This is not okay, so under the rest. Under the rest, oh, okay. you would okay. just take his ID under the rest. I don't know how much I would, I would make you go right in my pocket yourself to try to find it. I'm not going to comment for that. I didn't see it. I don't know. But we'll look it up. You can. It went viral. Okay. So in Myrtle Beach with the thong bikinis. Yeah, it was the same thing as you did. Hmm. I saw that video. You did. So, you guys so, it's your First Amendment right to do that. I'm all for it. I'm the Constitution is myself. However, these officers have deemed that they are going to issue a second. They deem they so let's, want let's to extort money from an innocent person. That's fine. Your name and badge number, real quick? My name is Officer Thomas Hayes, badge number 58. Thank you. 1382, Michael Ragnar. Thank you. Are uh, you ready? Dan, D A N. This is Dan No Daniel. Does it matter? I mean, it does. does it? it could be Daniel. That's not what I'm asking. Is it Daniel? I, I've never been asked for my ID before, so I have no idea. Dan, but Daniel, I guess. Initial, sir? Uh, B. Is it Daniel? It's Dan or Daniel or Danny. I mean, I don't know legally what it would be. I guess what, it would be Daniel. Water, yeah. what put Daniel. I'm sure that's probably what it is. You know, that, that's the, the long part of it. I would think that you would know that. Why would I know that? I don't, I don't want to be a your pain. Your full legal name. Oh. That's a little weird that you want to know that. So you want my so what's your middle birth name, name or you want my my slave name given to me by an illegal corporation? We can take both. You know, that, that's we fine. We can take both. Right. If that's what you want to call it, then yeah, I'll take that. Right, so Daniel B. B? Yep, B as in boy. T-A-U-S. T-A-U-S. That's it. And your date of birth, sir? 102562. 102562. You are got it. You got you it. Like, you like football? Penn State football? So we're allowed to do oh, that's my, my alma mater. Okay. Yeah. Are you upset that they're probably just going to cancel a season? No, I never really got into sports. If I don't, if I don't have money on it, then I don't really care about it. Uh, is your information out of New Jersey, PA, New York? Um, I'm a PA resident. PA resident? Okay. Yeah, if that helps. You have, a, you have a license in Pennsylvania? Yes. We don't, we don't want to make it any more than half. Yeah, but it's it's the yeah, I didn't know. I just came down. I'm from out of town. Yeah, we, actually, we actually put up like 40 new signs. There's, um, there's a no sure. smoking sign over there. Again, I really wasn't I'd looking towards I'd that. I'd say they're about every 25 yards, give or take. All right. That's fine. But again, I wasn't looking for that because I figured you could smoke out in public. Uh, I didn't realize. I'm not saying I agree with the rule, but you know, it's right. a life thing. There's kids everywhere, people, people don't want to smoke. So what happened 50, 30, 40 years ago, 20, 30 years ago when everybody was smoking and in the car and kids never got secondhand lung cancer? Guys, and discretion here. My, my grandma actually does have emphysema because my grandfather passed away from a heart attack in the toilet. Mm -hmm. Smoke cigarettes every day in the house, so right. she has lung issues. My mother has asthma now because of it. You know, when so I was young, you know, it does there was no car seats, there was no seat belts, there was no helmets. Believe it or not, we all got along real well. It's all about control. Just, it's all about. Well, again, to me, it's it's more about control and losing our freedom. But we can agree to disagree on the reason why. Not allowed to use discretion. That's what he so was, as I was just explaining to this lady right here. Yeah, we, we had a big incident uh, right now. about we a month and a half ago. This beach is basically taken over, so we're, we're cracking down on like, basically every quality of life. Taken over, meaning? Huge beach party, no. people smoking weed, drinking everywhere in public, so we're cracking down. So they weren't hurting anybody and they weren't committing any crimes. Well, they, they were possessing marijuana in public. Well, that's... Which is technically in this state till maybe November. Well, that's not, it's not ironic because you allow people with medical conditions to buy it legally. But and they can smoke it legally, right? right? And they can smoke it legally, right? In the, in the privacy of their own home. Oh, you can't smoke it out in public. No. Oh, really? No. <laughs> That'll change, I'm sure. If you guys can make money off it, it'll change. Yeah, you're right. If you can extort more money from innocent people, it'll change. Just like they realize they can make a lot of money on taxes selling weed. The only reason why it's legal is because they can make money on it. Okay. The only reason why we really have these signs up, you know, it used to be sign signs everywhere are signs. Where's a sign around here? Is to just again just control people. There's also one. There's also one back there. We didn't even hit. We didn't even hit that, that location. There's one on the foot of this street, actually. Huge sign: no drinking, no smoking. You guys were about to let him go. He was putting it out, and and I think because of the ego, something. Happened. It was. It was his ego. It was. I, I, you know, it was his ego that made him do it. Well, it's, 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 it was an order that he was I mean, during coronavirus, 
during coronavirus, sir. You, I see everybody's suffering. I totally get it, he was going to put, out, put it out, and out it's just a, it's a, a, a low-life thing to do. Well, you always have a choice, officer. That's what the Nuremberg trials were about in Germany when they said we didn't have a choice. We had to throw people in the ovens. They had a choice. You, you have no, no, no. You had a choice too. It, it, it's not about the crime. It's about the authority boss, right? enforcing that. You have a boss, right? That you have to answer to. Doesn't everybody? Yes, so we, I do. The USA Constitution. So we are your bosses. And President Trump. We are your bosses. All right, but I have, when I'm on duty, I have a boss that I have. Okay, so your boss is such a coward that he will not stand up and say, at least give him a warning. I'm not going to comment. Well, you know the answer is yes. They're cowards, man. Which is fine. They're extorting cowards. That's all. I mean, we, we the world knows. The world knows. The world sees it every day. I'm writing an IE report on him for breaking the, uh, the oath that he, uh, he swore an oath. Yeah, do me a favor. Can any three of you guys... Tell me the oath you swore no, you, you swore to to uphold. Can anybody remember that? Any of you guys? Yeah, isn't that amazing? They never remember the oath that they swore up, to uphold. Right. You said it every day in the academy. Your job is to enforce my rights, sir. Right, but there are laws that we have to follow. Ordinances. You didn't say laws. You said an ordinance, which ordinances which are go against analogs of Title II Secret no, Code, which go against the USA Constitution. This is and Christo. The He's a great Constitution. civil yes, rights activist. Yes, sir. Okay, knows quite a bit about the law. Yes, sir. The Miller vs. State of New Jersey, you have no right to ask the man. So what if I lit up a cigarette again? Would I get arrested or just another warning? Or like a parking ticket, once I get a, a ticket, I don't, I can't get any more parking tickets? I mean, I advise you to not do it again. I'm just wondering, you know. I wouldn't do it again, personally. So you don't know I'm what truly tell, would happen? You not to. Well, I understand that. And I'm just asking, what if I forget? Yeah, you know, I'm not used to not being in a place that doesn't allow smoking. I'll try to remember. Well, I mean, as an adult, which is even more strict, we warned you, we hit it again. We're like, all right, we're gonna issue. Well, that's days. neither here nor there. I would, I would hope, I would hope that you just didn't do it again. Well, that's neither here nor there. You know how it went down, and and it, that's fine. Um, but what so if you wouldn't handcuff a maybe you know you would have a female we try to have a female. All right, Daniel. What's up, buddy? I can't give that out. You can't give it out? No. Is that what happened? Again, I That's a little bit too personal. Is there a reason for that? Uh, just because it doesn't auto-populate onto our systems right. around the state. That's so. uh, only a mail and citation. Wait, what's the fine? It's not large. Oh, I'm not sure. You're going to have to call the court in there. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing about showing up or anything, right? No, you just called in over the right. phone and you paid that, right? Oh, okay. So, yeah, well, I'm sure I'll pay. I'm probably the first ticket I've ever gotten in my life, so. All right, so there's the phone number on the back, and they're going to call, mm -hmm. and they're going to let you know how much it is. Give it like a day or two, All right. and then you can pay that. Good. All right. What do you think it is, roughly? I mean, you probably handed these out prior. Yeah, but I don't know what the prices are. Again, the court deals with all that. Now, what if I didn't take your citation? You still have to pay for it. Well, I mean, there's right. going to be a warrant after because you're not paying. Because by technically taking this, I kind of consent to your your policies. Um, so if I didn't take it, some states say you have to sign it. If not, you go to jail. That's not the way it is here. We don't do that here. So if I didn't accept this, then I would have been walked away. Well, of course. Of course. It's not that I don't want to pay it. It's just I don't want to consent to your policies by taking it. Well, you're very welcome to fight it if you want. Well, I, I will, okay. but hey, that's neither here nor there either, depending on the amount of the fine. If it's $25, $50, you know offhand what it is about? Are they free to go? The, the citation? Right, no. You know how much it is? Are they free to go? Yep. They've been served? All right. Folks, enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Thank you. Good, Have good. a wonderful Can evening. Can I document your gang tattoos real quick? I'm my what? The gang tattoos. In case there's a murder and someone says that they saw a tattoo like that, they'll know who to contact. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Bye. Have a great evening, guys. Have fun extorting people. That's all it's about. It's all about extorting. So we got Wolfie here, everybody, and Christo from Jersey station. Washer and Peanut 411. That didn't take long, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> First one minute. Hey, what's up? Subscribe to Jersey Washer YouTube channel. Plus, in trouble by smoking a cigarette. Yeah, who the fuck knows? Who knows that you can't smoke in public? So, and I was shocked that the officer said that. Indecency is officer discretion. Oh, nudity brother. Is that officer discretion. They're so that insane. Do over real well. They are so insane. All right, guys, uh, we are here. So I guess we can film on the boardwalk, huh? Yeah, they changed that. <laughs> <laughs> they changed that. All right. 